Last month, global racing fans descended on Daytona International Speedway in Florida as the legendary endurance race celebrated its 50th anniversary. But for Japanese racing fans, memories will always turn back to the year 1992. That is when tougher economic times have whittled the field to 49 cars in the year the race officially became known as the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Nismo would enter the 24-hour race with Masahiro Hasemi, Kazuyoshi Hoshino, and Toshio Suzuki at the wheel of its prototype, R91 CP car, with only Hasemi having U.S. driving experience. The Daytona debut, though, would become a milestone in Nissan's motorsports history, say Kunihiko Kagimoto for planning and engineering for the race. ヤネオ被った車の頂点のレースである24時間レースというのがやっぱりその目指すべき頂点かなということでですねまあそれを目指して取り組もうというそういう取り組みの方向がだいたい日産の中のでまあ合意が取れてる状態でしたやっぱり
As the day turned to night, number 23 kept its lead despite top visibility, with initial challenger Porsche retiring on the morning of the second day. Kakimoto said holding the lead through the night was key. この after Porsche's exit, the number 23 had a nine lap lead on Jaguar, which used the same car model that had won the race in 1990. But Nissan conceded the lead only once after pitting, although the race wasn't over yet. <laughs> ことラジエーターの目詰まりを防ぐということです。だけどまあ、リードしてたっていうこともあって、as the race drew to a close, number 23 earned the checkered flag nine laps ahead of the Jaguar XJR-12, clocking a record 762 laps at an average speed of nearly 113 miles per hour and over 2,700 miles. <laughs> When asked by reporters to rate their own record Daytona performances, Oshino and the team gave themselves an A+. But the first victory by a Japanese car and team at the 24-hour endurance race was more than just rewriting the Daytona record books. The debut paved the way for another Nissan win two years later, a legacy of motorsport success that continues to this day.